Hello everybody. It's another Sunday. Call it a successful Sunday. As you can see, it's starting to look more and more like a little machine. Very exciting. So yeah, what did I do today? Uh, the table, all the screw, all the end caps, it's all dialed. Um, I just put the head on and yeah, so I guess today was sort of just table, head, and uh, the X steppers and you know the cover thing. Um, yeah, just uh, plugging along. Here's the head. This is a uh, two inch. Wanted to share a little uh, table sort of assembly setup success. Uh, I think I might have mentioned these in a previous video. Uh, let's see, where is the other one? Mm. Ah, here it is. So, yeah, these things were sort of like uh, X screw alignment aids. And these are the reference surfaces here. And then right here, those go on the rails. And uh, like this V block here is what um, you can see you adjust the height. So before all of this stuff was taken back apart um, the last time, um, had the table upside down with the saddle and uh, just machined these up and then tracked and adjusted the screw. Um, until it was, you know, dialed in and uh, gotten left and a right. So then when I went to put the table back on, uh, and you could see here, um, I just took a one, two, three block and then I have some, uh, some setup jacks, you know, for machine work. And um, yeah, it worked out pretty, pretty cool. Uh, main thing is really easy, you know, I, I mean, you can't just track the, the screw, you know, back and forth. Um, but it's always fun to be able to have some sort of, you know, I know I know what this should get me because I've done it before. And, um, yeah, it, uh, it worked. So after I got all of the left and right side screw end plate things and the, the, the center, you know, nut right here, uh, all torqued down, uh, it's pretty cool. It doesn't. Uh, it's still it's still just as smooth. So, um, see, can you see that? Yeah. Uh, so you could like drive it, you know, with your open hand. So it feels good. I think it passes the non-scientific. It's smooth from one end to the other test. So uh, I'm pretty happy. Um, here's the thing I was trying to show you guys the other day, but it wasn't bolted on, and it was sort of just hanging around all janky style. Um, and then here's the drip edge. Uh, it's a piece of, I don't know, 16 gauge that I phosphated and um, yeah, to try to keep the, you know, coolant stuff from, you know, wicking back down the rails and screws, or at least that's the idea. I also got this um, plate on, covers the stepper, and there's a piece of sheet metal that goes around the back. And the front hole right here is where the gutter picks up and then continues, continues along. It's all coming together. And then here is the head. This is a little shot of the uh, one side of the 
rails where the motor mounts here and then the uh, drawbar cylinder mounts here. Um, yeah, the head's on. And uh, it's interesting if you just put a little uh, weight right here. Let's see. Run away. <laughs> Another unscientific. It's jivey test. Um, yeah, I guess I really haven't done much. <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm super juiced, and um, I think the next step, uh, gonna start thinking about getting the uh, machine in the enclosure. Uh, maybe put on a couple more things, but um, pretty excited. So yeah, I think I'll make this uh, a short one. Um, just a quick update uh, on the progress. You know, it's coming along nicely, and uh, yeah, just how everything, all the time spent, like really, you know, going over like every individual component and like trying to you know, make it the best it could be. Um, you know, everything is just sort of falling back together. And uh, yeah, it's, it's looks promising. Like, uh, like we might be able to, you know, one of our goals for uh, this machine was, you know, obviously size, you know, restraints, but um, to be as like full featured and capable, uh, you know, as a machine of this size could be. Um, and another thing too is like you go up and you know turn it on and it works like you're not always having to you know mess with things that you wouldn't otherwise mess with mess with on uh hate to use the term real machine but a full size commercial machine um so i think i think that's a pretty doable uh, a thing you know to to make happen it's just comes down to, you know, the selection of, you know, components and getting a little creative here and there and, you know, also trying different things, you know, so that was a plan, but you know how plans go. So stick around and find out. Thanks for watching. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like. Uh, we'll catch you later. Cheers.